Today's video is all about ways that I'm romanticizing my life and finding joy right now. As excited as I am to get into this list, I wanted to take a second to talk about why it matters, because I think it's often misrepresented. To me, romanticizing your life means choosing to make the small moments count. It's seeing every day, every task, every routine as an opportunity to find joy, to infuse purpose, and to create beauty in the world, even if it only lives in your mind. Romanticizing your life doesn't mean that every moment is perfect, beautiful, or even good. It's not about being happy all of the time or enforcing an aesthetic, but seizing the endless potential of ordinary moments. I think this is summed up well in one of my favorite quotes. I began to realize how important it was to be an enthusiast in life. If you are interested in something, no matter what it is, go at it full speed ahead. Embrace it with both arms, hug it, love it, and above all, become passionate about it. Lukewarm is no good. Hot is no good either. White hot and passionate is the only thing to be. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is 10 ways that I am romanticizing my life right now and I am so excited to share this list. Everything on this list is something that I'm incorporating into my life. Honestly, I was a little bit nervous to film this because I was like, some of these might sound silly to other people, but you know what? It's okay if they sound silly to other people. If it enriches my life, it's not silly to me. And I wanted to share this video in the hopes of inspiring you and also encouraging you to lean into the little things that make you romanticize your life and get you excited. Make sure to click the subscribe button before we get started. And let's just get into it. Okay, the first thing that I'm doing to romanticize my life this year is wearing cute pajamas. And listen, hear me out on this. Is this a big life altering thing? Absolutely not. Does it make me feel really confident and cozy and comfortable? Absolutely. There's something so sweet about the feeling of looking cute at night because I'm not looking cute for anyone else. No one's even gonna see me. It feels like this little form of self-care honestly brightens up my evening so much. I have been really obsessed with this one loungewear set from Amazon lately. It's this beige waffle knit set and it's very comfy, but it's also just makes me feel so cute and like put together in my evenings. And there's something about that that just makes me feel like I totally have a handle on my life. The second way that I'm romanticizing my life right now is by bringing fresh flowers and plants into my home. If you watched my last weekly vlog, then you know that this is a huge change for me because I have never been a plant person. But lately I have just had this deep desire inside of me to bring living things and life into our home. I think part of this is definitely the fact that it's winter and there's not a whole lot of living things outside. It's just a lot of white and a lot of cold. So having plants in our home has just been making me so happy. I literally picked up my first two house plants ever last week and I'm just obsessed with them. The third way that I'm romanticizing my life right now is trying to be really intentional about turning little everyday moments into experiences. Things like making coffee every day that either I want to do more of or are just part of my normal everyday routines. I'm trying to capture those things and find ways to make them fun. Not because they have to be, but because if they can be, I would prefer them that way. One of my goals this year was to read a lot more. And so something I've done to incorporate that into my life a lot more has been reading every time I get in the bath. I love taking baths. It's one of my favorite ways to relax. And especially because it's so cold outside, a hot bath to end the day just feels so lately I've just been bringing my Kindle with me and honestly, it's just made it such a fun experience. Another way that I'm trying to romanticize my life this year is something that I know won't work for everyone and that's fine, but it's something that totally works for me and that is trying to document moments more. And let me clarify, it's much more important to me to be in the moment than to document it, but I also really enjoy creating content and sharing moments of my life on YouTube and Instagram with you guys. It's so fun. Photography is also something that I've loved as long as I can remember. And I really enjoy the challenge of, okay, like how can I take a cute photo or wanting to recreate something I saw on Pinterest. I really like being able to capture and share the joy that I'm feeling. Okay, number five. Another way that I'm romanticizing my life this year is by actually taking the time to get dressed every day. I do work from home, so I have the option to stay in sweatpants all day if I wanted to. But what this looks like for me is not just, I'm gonna put on jeans today, but I've actually been trying to be really intentional about getting dressed in outfits that I feel really good in. It's such a confidence boost for me when I put on an outfit that I love and fashion is something I really enjoy playing with and exploring. I just feel so pulled together and capable and confident when I'm in an outfit that I feel good in. And so taking the time to do that every day is really huge for me. The next way that I'm romanticizing my life is by making my home my favorite place on earth. 
You guys, I could talk about this for so long because it's something I feel so strongly about. I just feel so passionate that your home should be your safe space. I feel like I need a place to come back to and relax in that I love. I don't want to oversimplify this by just being like, just live in a beautiful home and have all the decor you want and have everything match your aesthetic because obviously that's not always an option or a reality. I'm super thankful for the apartment that we live in. I feel immensely blessed to be here. This does not need to be an expensive process. We furnished our apartment for $150 on Marketplace. The reality is there are some things that we would love to do or create in the space that we just can't. Either we can't afford it or we're renting so it doesn't work or it's just not the right place for it. But with the space that we have, I want to make it the most us that we can. Part of that is just that I love home decor, but also having a home that I love and that's filled with things that I love feels so safe and peaceful in a way that other spaces don't. My goal is to make our apartment our favorite place on earth so that staying home is a luxury and being in it feels like a blessing every day. The next way that I am romanticizing my life is by taking time to embrace the becoming. And what I mean by this is that there are a lot of things in my life right now that feel like they are under construction. They are in progress, they are being developed, and I definitely feel that sense of frustration and why can't this be more stable or more complete? Rather than seeing this season as something I have to do, I want to make sure that I am embracing the privilege that it is to be in the position that I'm in and to even have these things as the problems in my life. I was talking with a friend of mine actually last week and we were just talking about how whatever you do, you're never gonna get away from the fact that life is hard. Like no matter what you do for work, no matter what your relationship status is, there's always gonna be things in life that are hard. I'm so grateful that the things that are hard in my life are the things that are hard in my life. I never want to lose sight of the gratitude for that and trying to do the best that I can in the situations that I'm in. I hope that made sense. The next thing that I'm doing to romanticize my life this year is seeking out inspiration from people in similar situations or life stages and positions to me. I follow a lot of content creators whose lives are very different from mine and I love following those people. But in this season of, okay, I'm trying to romanticize my life. I'm trying to get inspired on ways to make my current life and my situation, my circumstances more fun and more exciting. In addition to following content creators that I love because they're just really fun to watch, I also wanna seek out inspiration from people who are in a similar season of life to me. You know what, maybe it's not even about the circumstances, but I wanna seek out inspiration from people who make me feel like I can do what you're doing. I can learn to do the things that you do and be the kind of person that you are and be inspired in that way, rather than just consuming content that makes me feel like, Oh wow, like I wish I had that. Okay, another way that I am romanticizing my life this year is by reading books that remind me of how fun and exciting life can be. I've been doing this since I was a child. I can't tell you how many times I have been like stuck in a rut, frustrated with life, waiting for something to work itself out. And like, I don't wanna promote escapism or like running from your problems cause that's not the solution. But sometimes getting a break from your reality can feel so good. And reading can be such a good way to do that. Disappearing into a different world for a little bit and it, getting into a good fiction book can just remind you of different parts of life and the world and how fun and exciting and wonderful they can be. Okay, number 10, the last way that I am romanticizing my life right now is by accessorizing more. And for me, this feels like adding little luxuries to my life. And that's things like taking the time to put on perfume in the morning or wearing my everyday favorite jewelry pieces, which funnily enough, I do not have on right now for this video, except of course my engagement and wedding ring, which are my ultimate favorites, can't beat that. Those little tiny touches as I'm getting ready for the day have the same effect for me of like putting on a cute outfit. And it's just like, I feel so pulled and put together. When I've taken the time to put perfume on and like do my jewelry and like I can literally take on the world. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous to share this list just because I feel like a lot of these things, I don't know how general they are. People could watch this video and literally be like, I don't relate to any of these, what are you talking about? But these are things that for me 
are really huge and I really love them. But whether or not you relate to any of mine, I definitely feel like we all have little things that can help us romanticize our lives. To go all in, even on small passion, I really do think that those things are worth it. Life is short, wear the cute pajamas, get the fresh flowers, put on perfume, whatever it is for you, romanticize your life, have fun, go all in. That is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. It really, really helps my channel and it would mean the absolute world to me. And here it goes, I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. If you are new to my channel, make sure to click the subscribe button as well. I make three videos a week all about intentional living, productivity, and lifestyle. I would love to have you join the gang. I hope you guys have a good day because today is a good day to have a good day and that's it. Bye.